I worked on The Wendy Williams Show as a senior producer. I was devastated to see how cruelly she was represented in her documentary. Wendy. 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 Almost three years after departing from the Chelsea area of New York City, where The Wendy Williams Show is set, I can still hear the iconic chant that filled the studio, working at Wendy for 12 years, I began as a production assistant and ended as a senior producer nominated for an Emmy, was an honor, and September 2009, I had my first encounter with Wendy Williams on the set of her former West 53rd Street studio. I will always remember that. I had recently turned 24 and landed a job, then one day after the show, a colleague producer introduced me to Wendy, she was rocking a great curly blonde wig while seated in her notorious purple chair. I shook hands with Wendy and informed her I was a huge admirer as I had grown up listening to her popular Hot 97 radio show. And of course, I had to say that I had loved reading her best-selling book, Wendy's Got the Heat. Thank you, she said with a smile. You have a great lisp, and your wig is amazing. Upon revealing that I wasn't donning a wig, she inquired about the possibility of rooting me. For those who are unaware, this entails feeling for artificial hair on your scalp. We chuckled, and I knew we would get along well right away, I adore Wendy and cherish my time spent producing her talk show. That's why I was devastated to watch the new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? I sobbed uncontrollably.